Hello, this is Chrissy from The Attic. I'm coming here today to share with you a, a small project I've um, been working on. And um, I'm actually calling this my pocket letters. This is my version of pocket letters. I um, haven't got onto the bandwagon of doing the pocket letters that everyone's doing at the moment. Um, but this is to me a way of um, sharing a little something with um, crafty friends. Um, it's not really a card, I couldn't class it as a card I don't think, so pocket letters seem to be the description that I um, came up with because it is a pocket and um, I'll just go ahead and show you what I've done. It's a 6x6 six six, um, card, the base and then I've cut two other pieces. I'll take the goodies out so you can actually see. Um, this is the base and then there's this pocket here and this pocket here. Which I've actually stuck down. That's probably not a good one to describe it to you but anyway um, it is a pocket there. I stitched across this, I selected nice coordinating papers from my scrap um, box then I stitched along the tops of both the two smaller pieces, stuck them onto the big piece and then stitched right around um, the perimeter of that one. I've distressed them and um, inked them and then with my scrap bits of lace and bits and pieces I've just picked out pieces that went nicely with it and um, glued on the front. These are seed packets um, from the internet. There's a little heart under here. And then I've just um, added a few little pieces of bits and pieces that people could perhaps use in a craft project. Some old postcards that I've printed out, some ephemera, and um, some more little seed packet images. Maybe they might like to do their own um, card like this, so I've put some of those in. And these are some little tickets that I found on the internet and I've inked those up, cut them out. And I've actually sewn, you can see that through the light, um, on my machine with no thread in it. Just so that they actually are perforated. So I've put some of those in there. And um, just stamped here and that pops in there. On the back, so I've just put some nice um, vintage paper and ink that, and these two. Same, same deal with the base, um, just some different images, and those ones I've just tied with a little bit of sari ribbon that I've coloured, and uh, this one I've shrunk down some little postcards. They can be used like this in a card or um, different projects. Some more of the tickets, some more ephemera here. And just um, things that I had in my scrap basket. Got a little dangly piece there. The back's just the same. And this is the third one. Same deal again. But they are fun to make and they're simple to make. Um, as I said, I haven't got onto the um, pocket letter bandwagon that everyone's um, doing. I just sort of found those a little bit too daunting for me and um, wasn't really into that. So, But this is, I guess, a similar type of thing and just in a different version. So anyway I made three of these and um, 
I thought that maybe if anyone was interested in one of these that you might like to leave me a comment and uh, below and um, if um, I get more than one comment I'll do a drawing and um, then you can tell me which one you would like, which one of these three you would prefer and um, perhaps I'll draw that next Saturday and just leave me a comment if you are interested in these I don't know whether they would appeal to anyone or not but um, I'll share one with the, with someone on my channel if they would like to leave me a comment and thank you so much for um, always leaving me lovely comments taking time to watch my videos taking time to join me in the attic subscribing to my channel and um, I do love getting your comments and thumbs up so thanks again and uh, I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.